All right, Mary Kay, it is the Browns and Bengals on Sunday. Here are three things, three matchups that we're going to keep an eye on, and it really starts with A.J. Green because the Browns are coming off of a game where they gave up a ton of yardage to T.Y. Hilton. A.J. Green has at times feasted on the Browns. He's going up against either Jamar Taylor or Jason McCourty, maybe both of those guys on Sunday. And that could be the guy that determines this matchup, honestly. Yeah, you know, look what happened with Antonio Brown in the first mm -hmm. game. He had 182 yards. Like you said, T.Y. Hilton, 153 yards. And A.J. Green is coming off of a game in which he had 10 catches for 111 yards versus the Packers. Browns without Joe Hayden, this will be one of the key matchups. Uh, now, another one, of course, is that Bengals front seven. It's so good. And they've got Vontez Perfect back this week. We know how good Perfect can be and the attitude that he brings. And that Browns offensive line is going to have their hands full with that front Front seven. Well, they had six sacks last week against the Packers, so uh, this is going to be, it could be a long afternoon, and as we have talked about, uh, Vontes Perfect is coming off of a three-game suspension. He's going to be ready to roll and have a little bit of a nasty streak. Uh, now, the Bengals secondary, a lot of veteran guys in there. Of course, we know about Adam Pacman Jones. They did have a pick six against Aaron Rodgers, although they haven't forced a ton of turnovers, but Deshaun Kaiser has struggled with turnovers. Those veteran guys are going to be watching his eyes, watching him go through his reads, uh, he's got to be very careful out there against that secondary. Absolutely. He already has seven interceptions this season, three in each of the last two games, although one came on a Hail Mary at the end of the game, so I don't know if that really counts. But, uh, but seven interceptions, that's kind of a lot. And even he blamed last week's game on the two turnovers, the two interceptions that he threw in the third quarter. So, like you said, that is a key thing to watch in this game. So those are your three matchups for Browns versus Bengals. We'll have full coverage over at Cleveland.com. Slash Browns.